Okay. Uh, 3-4 opening. Let's take a look at the board. Attacks. Pirate ship. Okay. Pirate ship's the only attack. Trashing. Uh, there's upgrade. And altar. Okay. Both of those are good cards. I uh, don't see a village, and that's a big deal. But, you know, you got terminal draw here with wharf. Council room. There's also apothecary and wishing well. Apothecary wishing well is a combo. Hello. Hello. Hey. Uh, let me know in the chat if he's too loud or too quiet. Uh, I'm still looking at the board. I'm, I'm not going to bother muting you, if you don't mind. Whoa. That's and fun. and also, uh, if you feel like chiming in, please please feel free. It's at your discretion. Tong. Tong. <laughs> So, so since there's no village uh, and the only plus buy is terminal, you can only buy two things per turn. But uh, horn of plenty. So can you really enable a horn deck? Well, you need lots of draw. Uh, Haven kind of helps. Apothecary, wishing well can increase your hand size. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that is pretty good. And you can thin, but thinning isn't that big of a deal because apothecary would just draw the coppers. But I still think. Eh, I, I don't know. Upgrade, I mean, how many non-terminals can you really get in play? One, two, three, four, five, gold, silver, copper, horn. The answer is a lot. It's just enough. And then you get one terminal, too. Hmm. It's it's actually uh, more than just enough. You can get two terminals in play because warp is iteration, and yeah, you can get up to, like, ten. I'm not sure if you can do eleven. Hmm. Well, you can you can't do eleven every turn, but you can have it like. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. On one it's turn. a province game, but right. I mean, I've certainly gotten destroyed by apothecary decks before, but at the same time, like apothecary can be swingy on your second shuffle. If you don't get things to line up, you're really far behind. But the thing is, like, what are you competing against? Big money wharf is good, but apothecary benefits from that pretty much just as well as wharf. So I think adding apothecaries has to just be better. So I'm definitely going to open potion wishing well here. The question is, do I go for horns or do I just go for money? And, uh, I mean, I'm just going to lose if I don't go for horns. So, that's yeah. what we're going to do. You actually can get to 11, too, if I counted right. Not every turn, because you got to play the wharf half the turns. But uh... Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus 2 terminals. Yeah, so it can be done. Hmm, what do I want to do here? Uh, Alan says, I like this schedule better, Adam. Uh, if you're watching on a past broadcast, I'm streaming this earlier in the day. It's like 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern. Nice! Uh, I imagine you're going back to the later time next week, but just in case, I'll register my satisfaction. Uh, yeah, uh, usually Tuesdays won't work. Uh, what do I want to wish for? I, I kind of want another wishing well here. Uh, if I wish for potion... It doesn't really matter what I wish for. I just want to wish correctly to cycle. So, copper. GJ Adam, YDI. So, if you notice, I got the uh, the uh, golden sombrero here. Ooh, both of your opening cards miss the shuffle. Oh, yeah. That's pretty gnar. That, that means I have a small chance of competing with you this game. <laughs> I don't know that it's small. Okay, so I want to hit... Anything that's not my second potion. Yeah, it's it's tough to find a time that, that satisfies everybody, but I that's why I just stream when it's good for me. Oh, hello. Uh, hmm. Uh, I need to have a think about this. Uh, altar could be really good for gaining horns. I kind of, when I was thinking about it, I wanted my one terminal to be altar. Next turn, what am I going to have in there? I've got one copper, two estates, a wishing well, and another wishing well. So that means bad cards are going to miss my shuffle, and I'm probably just getting a wishing well. Altar could be really good. I can gain horns. I can gain things, like horns. I can ev eventually trash my potion. I'm never trashing my potion. Uh, I can trash estates. I, I want it. Is it better than an apothecary here? Oh, that's the question, bro. My gut says it is. 
And after I buy it, I'm going to ask Wandering Winter what he thinks, and he's probably going to tell me I made the wrong move. I want an altar. Thoughts? I, I would have gotten a wharf. A wharf, huh? Hmm. <laughs> well, that's even better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm between two things, and you're like, neither one is right. <laughs> So amazing. Uh, I have to wish for copper here and fail, and now... That's a, that's a pretty good impression of my voice. <laughs> that sounds just like you, yeah? Yeah. Uh, well... Oh my gosh, last Tuesday? Uh... I kind of want a copper, so that... Oh, I'm so good at this game. So I'm gaining a horn here, or is a single upgrade worth it now that I have the altar? Uh, well, I'm getting a horn. I have to get the horn. And look! This is a great opportunity to pick up this haven. JSH says he likes upgrade more. Upgrade! I mean, between upgrade and altar, I have to believe that, that altar is better if it's, you know, that early. So this has to be another apothecary. I need more apothecaries. That's my main source of draw. Without them, my wishing wells won't be nearly as awesome. Uh, six copper last hand. Uh, there's an estate in here, I think. I hit five. Success. Ooh, nicely done. Well, I drew the estate. What's that other card? It's not potion. It's not apothecary. It's not horn, because that's in my hand. It's not altar. I've seen that already. I think... And it's not copper, because I only have seven of them. I think it, it's not... What? I, I've ruled out every card in my deck. Uh, let's think for a second. Did you say Haven? Uh, Haven's in my hand, too. Did you say Horn of Plenty? That's in my hand. Uh, see, I'm not looking at yeah. stream watching, so... Yeah. Uh, well, I've, I've How ruled many Wishing out... Wells do you have? I think I have two. Maybe I have three. Uh, uh, you, you definitely don't have three, because uh, I have two. Actually, I think it's Apothecary. Yeah. Nope, fail. Alter. Yeah, you I definitely I ruled that one since out. Since then, I I must have shuffled and not realized it. Wow, I'm so amazing at this game. You are. Thanks for saying that, sir. <laughs> uh, Copper's most plentiful. I wish for it. GJ Adam, YDI. Well, uh, two dollars. One dollar doesn't. I guess a second haven is better than nothing. So we'll haven this estate, alter that into that, do some stuff, and then gain a thing. What kind of thing would I like? It's either a horn or a wishing well. I really would like to draw more. A horn can maybe gain me wells, but I really want to get the wishing well right now. Now tell me how wrong that is. Uh, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> JSH says, it's the ace. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, it's the see. ace, Wandering Winter. Uh, Wish for the ace. Uh, JSH says that when he said he would prefer upgrade at that point, that's because he wanted Wharf as his terminal. And eventually, at some point, I think like I'm probably gonna alter some things into like change from altar to Wharf. I don't know. I, I really like the altar when it's that early. Maybe I'm wrong, but I really like it. I need more apothecaries. You have four to my two, and that's probably why I'm going to lose. I mean, you did get a second potion, which helps with that. Oh, this will be nice next turn, uh, but apothecary here for sure. And a state into wishing well is good enough here. Yeah, I used my altar for that once, but gaining horns is pretty nice to gain the wishing wells. I don't know. It's... I think it's a tough uh, call. What ridiculous thing could I have left in my deck? Let's see, I have one copper. And I have... another... Uh, so I'm holding six coppers, two potions, a wharf, three estates, and an apothecary. Oh, it's probably another apothecary, because I have a billion of them, right? Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, if you don't have two apothecaries on your draw pile, then they're in your hand and you're going to draw your deck anyway. 
So in that case, if they're not in your hand, you want to wish for the ace so that they're there for next turn. Mm. Is that sound reasoning, I suppose? Well, I'm just I'm not going to have nearly enough, enough apothecaries to do what I need to do here. I need to look into other sources of draw, like Wharf. So he's drawing more, I have more good cards, and to be honest, I would prefer to be drawing more at this point. Uh, well, let's wish for a wish. And now, I really want another Apothecary, since I have cantrips in my hand, well, I'm totally wishing for Copper. Yup. Um, more Copper wishing. since it's by far the most plentiful card. Come on, Goko. Let's play Dominion. Let's go. Hey, good. I wished correctly. Now, I should be drawing an Apothecary soon, right? Totes. Uh, I think I actually want to Haven this Haven. Because uh, I think there's only... Apothecary and Estate in these six cards that I can trip on. There's three coppers and a potion. And I'm fine leaving the Apothecary there. I The Haven's an extra card next turn. I really want to play this Apothecary. Yeah, I'm Havening the Haven, play Apothecary, draw a bunch of stuff. Uh, I have the other Apothecary in hand, so if I play it, I just draw the deck, which is exactly what I want. Let's do that. Alter estate into horn, play some stuff, and gain some stuff. Now, uh, I need to look into other sources of draw. My altar is done trashing my estates. I don't really... F I mean, what am I getting with my coppers? How many uniques do you have? One, two, three, four... Yeah, I could get another unique. Five, I could get a gold. Six, well, you're going to need to at some point. But, I can uh, horn gain it, though. I'd rather gain horns if I'm drawing okay. I mean, that was a good turn. If I can have a haven in play every turn, it'd be even better. Also, wishing well is really good. I mean, I need those. How about horn wishing well and buy a wharf? Or, no, I'm buying an apothecary. Dang it, I should have gone for pirate ship. <laughs> you can still do it! Well, no, I need to be able to hit your, your, your horns of plenty faster than that. It's too late now. Uh, I like, yeah, I like horn, I like wharf, and I'll buy an apothecary. Cookie Lord, OMG, I'm watching the stream. Hi, Cookie Lord! I, uh, I think, uh, yeah, you sent me a, a message at some point, and, uh, asking when I stream, and this is not when I usually stream, but uh, <laughs> you're here and I'm here. It's great. <laughs> JSH says, Pirate ship, always OP. Just ask the guys on BGG. That rhymes, actually. That's pretty sweet. It, it, it actually does. I don't know if you noticed that, but uh, you just made a true statement. I love making oh. true statements. Okay, so I need one of these. A horn, yeah. And it's about to say my big advantage over you is that I have a horn and you don't. And I don't think Let's that's see. gonna be enough. What else? How many uniques do I have? Two three four five six seven seven. Means I still have to get another one. Ugh. Um. For sure, want that copper. Yeah, with an extra buy, I would consider getting an eighth copper because, you know, you can buy a province. I think that's pretty good. Apothecary. I could actually already buy a province, but uh, now well, I can buy two fives. You did get a silver. Anyway, we'll wish yep. for a wish. I, I did. And then this, and uh, well, I there's three coppers in there. Mm. 
Yeah, I still oh, have to be wishing for so. copper, but there's three horns actually. Hmm. Let's mm. uh, let's wish for a horn. Fail. Apothecary. Let's still wish for a horn. That's still smart. Fail. Great. Apothecary. Go. Uh, what can I draw here? Well, I'm gonna play the haven. Haven a copper probably. Then draw, draw your apothecary, apothecary then draw your wharf. Then the wharf. So it's got to be this way. And then do this. And I don't want to draw things dead, so we'll just draw the two horns. Leave that on top for tomorrow. Yay, wharf. Now, I don't get to play my altar, which means I really would like to gain a wharf this turn. What are my horns up to? Six, but not eight. One, two, three, four five, six, seven. They're up to seven, so I really only need one more unique. Uh, that unique, uh, it's probably got to be gold. So I've got one, two, three. Uh, well, I, I know I want a wharf. That's not in question. Wharf. I think my eighth unique card should be gold. Uh, yeah, and uh, that's better to horn gain. I think I want another horn, and I want to get a wishing well, and I could just get a haven, but I think I'd rather just have a copper, honestly. So let's horn gain this horn, and uh, wishing well copper here? I mean... I, I I feel like the copper isn't better than nothing. How much how much money can my deck produce? Seven coppers and a gold, two fives, ten, eleven. I don't feel like ten versus eleven is the biggest difference in the world. So let's just get the wishing well. And I don't want the haven that bad either. Do I want it? I don't know. Is a haven better than nothing? Is it? Sounds like an existential question. It is an ex existential question. Uh, I don't like it. And if you uh, if you wish to make an apple pie from scratch, if uh, then then what? You must first invent the universe. Okay. Yeah, this is very true. Very true. Have you never heard that before? I've never heard that exactly before, and you did blow my mind, admittedly, sir. That's uh, that's Carl Sagan. Ooh, I like Carl Sagan. Uh, oh, they're asking about the stream. So I, I have some place to be. I have to leave at 6, which is in an hour. So uh, we have about an hour left of streaming. I'm actually meeting someone from the forums IRL. That's what I'm doing. Uh, Cookie Lord says, is a Chancellor worse than a curse? That's the existential question. Well, it depends on the kingdom, Cookie Lord. It depends on the kingdom. And the game situation. Uh, yes. If, if the kingdom allows the game situation to matter, then... <laughs> then yes. Um... Chancellor is still a silver. Curse is always dead, but, I mean, sometimes you just need a curse. I mean... If I have an ambassador and I want to pass my opponent 10 of something, I'd prefer a curse. <laughs> so it's apothecary, estate, copper, Cookie Lord, copper. I know you were joking, but the crowd here will take that question seriously 100% of the time. JSYK. Welcome to the FDS crowd. <laughs> Hashtag DSCon 2014. It's it's not quite that okay. intense. Um, hmm. let's see. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Depends on the kingdom. I mean, flavor of the Klondike bar. Um, plain vanilla ice cream inside with the uh, the caramely crunchy bits in the coating I would do nothing and buy a curse this turn for that okay let's see uh huh uh huh 
Five gains, at least six gains. Which I feel pretty comfortable. Mm. I'm trying to calculate out what you're going to be able to do on your next turn that isn't going to win the game anyway. <laughs> because because there's a good chance it doesn't horn. matter that you're just going to like draw your deck and win. Um, yeah, but I could stall. I only have four apothecaries. Right. That's what I'm. If if, if you don't stall, I I'm gonna lose no matter what. I'm pretty sure. Uh. Well, right now it takes eight gains to win the game. Right. Uh. Actually, yeah, eight gains, yes. and one of them has to be a province. But the problem for me is that's only my second horn of plenty that I just gained. Yeah. I mean. So. It can be done. I, my deck would have to fully stretch have, to do let's that. Let's see, you have five horns of plenty. Um, ooh. So I'm going to have... Pretty sure I need to get another horn of plenty. That'll get me up to one, two, three of them. And then... So the question is whether to get another Horn of Plenty here or like a Duchy. Because if I get a Duchy, then you. And that's another VP card first? I have to gain in order to win the game, that's for sure. Did you go first? I uh, No, you went first. Oh, well. So if I get a Duchy. Then you get. You have the capability of uh, two from buys plus five from horns, getting seven. You could not win the game. Um, but if you're going to have seven, if you're going to be able to get all seven, you're going to be able to get that many anyway, then aren't you just going to be able to get like. Five provinces. Five or six provinces, yeah. Um, because the best I can do right now is four provinces and a bit. Um, just three provinces and two duchies isn't enough. Uh, wait, three provinces plus two more duchies, that would tie, and I would lose on tiebreaker. Okay, which means. Um, how likely is it that you can get five gains, though? Or you need six, because you need to get a province. Um, but if you can do that, you're going to be able to get... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just need to get this horn, and hope you can't get it um, by a single point. Yeah. And I don't need more coppers than this, so. All right, deck. Let's see what you're made of. Uh, well, it's got to be like this. Haven. Uh, I really want to end the game this turn, and I have the wharf in hand, so I'm definitely not playing the altar. So altar goes on the haven thing. It's not a haven mat. Whatever. I'm havening the altar. It is a haven mat. Uh, my game didn't come with one. Did it not? I don't Pretty think, sure mine I don't, did. I don't think we got a mat for Havens. You get a pirate ship mat, native village mat, and there's a third mat. Is that Haven? I think so. Huh. I'll have to take a look at that. Well, there's a there's a trade route mat. For Seaside? But uh, that, no, that that's what, not a Seaside trade route. Within. Uh, what, what's um, left in my deck here? Uh, one yeah. copper... One apothecary, two wishing wells, two horns, and a a vowel. I I have no idea what the other card is. I think uh, wishing well is or horn. 
if I wish for horn, what are my horns worth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Because I haven't found my gold yet. Maybe I should not have Haven the altar, huh? That would be number eight, but I don't think that matters. I could wish... Oh, gold is in there. I could wish for gold. Eh, I, I want to wish for a stop card. Or a wishing well? Eh. No, I don't want to wish for a wishing well, because if I draw that with Apothecary, that's fine. I think I'm wishing for a horn here. <laughs> Fail. Okay, whatever. I don't think that's so, a huge deal. I don't know if you just noticed, but I totally just left for a minute, and uh, I had to go pull out my, my copy of Seaside. Oh, but, yeah? And I realized... Then I realized that I'd taken all of the mats out, so that doesn't help me. Hi. Although apparently, my pirate ship coin tokens are uh, still sitting in there. Wait, why do I have two kinds of tokens in here? So I can in the game here, right? I can uh, five horns. Yeah. I, all yeah. it takes is two provinces, and then I've got three, four, five gains you left. You actually for this only stuff. need one province. Because uh, I didn't get the duchy. Oh, yeah, good. So let's just go ahead and do that. Actually, you would have only needed one anyway, because you could just buy the estate right. at the end or something. So I'm buying two wishing wells with my buys. Just go ahead and get another province here. Do, do, do. And estate. I probably could have gotten more points. Don't care. So your second shuffle was pretty unlucky. But you did have more draw than me. I mean, I thought it was certainly bad for you, but I, I don't know that it was crippling and debilitating and you couldn't have come back from it. I'm not I'm not sure. It's I could have I could quite possibly be that I needed to get uh horns of plenty sooner. Mm-hmm. But um, you didn't have much chance to do that. Because I remember you didn't hit five true. until like three I, shuffles I, in. I hit that I hit that wharf and I was very happy, but maybe the second wharf or I don't know. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not sure. Like, I don't know that it was so crippling or debilitating, but on the other hand, like, it came down to a half a turn. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Um, that I mean, must... now I was first player, so... Hmm. So, I, I, that must have means that I played it okay, even oh, yeah. though you disagreed yeah, you with a couple of things I did. Off. I'm actually, I'm not even... Like, I would have gone Wharf instead of Altar. Other than that, I think it's pretty much exactly what I would have done. Okay, well, that's good to know. Another thing I wanted to point out is that I was a little worried at the beginning of this game about raw power of this kind of a deck and whether it would be able to compete with something strong like Big Money Wharf but like this took 12 turns yeah Big Money Wharf isn't that good and like I was contested on draw and like a lot yeah. of stuff and there were three pile things and it's still 12 turns and we were both like ready to mega at any point so like yeah, yeah. this deck is Wish ridiculously like powerful wi yes wishing well apothecary is actually just really strong as it is Wharf is great because it gives you buys and a little extra draw I think Actually, my, la my last turn, I might not have been able to get it anyway because I was not sitting on any apothecaries, but I don't know what my wharf would have drawn, and I had a wishing well. Nah. Right. I, I think there's... I mean, if there's some source of plus buy, no matter how bad it is, I think apothecary wishing well is super powerful. Like, it even is. trade route. Yeah. Right? Yeah, even trade route's okay. Um, uh, it's, it's still better than big okay. money smithy, right? Well, like big money smithy is awful. It's <laughs> big really money bad. anything is awful. What? Big money anything is awful. Well, I mean, no, there's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that's better than Yeah, big money because big money smithy like you can't add like cantrips and stuff to it very well. If there's like a treasury on the board, it doesn't go well with big money smithy. Like big money monument or something, sure. Okay. Big big money trade route. There you go. Best deck ever. <laughs> so good. Okay. Uh